Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Coach Gerard, the Quad City Soccer Trainer. Today, I'm gonna teach you a drill that you can work on at home for homework that's gonna help your dribbling get better. Only equipment you're gonna need, of course, is a ball and two cones, all right? If you don't have two cones, you can use shoes, you can use shirts, anything you have around the house, a couple of plastic cups, you can set them, but I want you to set them 10 steps apart, 10 yards apart. So. I'm gonna show you how to use your steps here. So we're gonna come about right here. We're gonna do 10 steps. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Right there. You can do your steps, it doesn't matter. Uh, just 10 steps, a good distance away uh, that you're gonna be able to dribble, okay? So the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna do an inside cut turn with our dribbling. But I want you to know, because I see a lot of kids out there, and it's okay because some of us are new to the game and we need guidance and we need good teaching on how to dribble, okay? So I see it where we go to a game and a player is taking the ball and dribbling and they're, shoot, they're kicking the ball way far out from them. It's gonna get stolen. Defense is gonna, a fast defender, somebody quick is gonna steal that ball from you. Uh, like Lionel Messi, he, he keeps the ball right at his feet and he can move around quick with that ball. Uh, so that's what we wanna do. We wanna pretend like our foot's a magnet to the ball and we keep it as close as we can to our foot. Small touches. You don't have to kick it hard or anything like that on a dribble, okay? So just to get us better control our dribbling, let's get to it. Remember, we're doing it inside. Using the inside of our foot, coming back this way. So we're gonna get on this side of the cone, all right? And uh, remember, you don't need a big space. You don't need to be at a soccer field. Um, some of us have big basements. You go on the basement and do this. Go in the backyard, the driveway, do it in your front yard. You don't need, you could do five yards. You don't need to do 10. I just like the bigger space to give us more touches on the ball. You can use a smaller space, uh, just do it more reps, more times, okay? So here we go. All right, so a lot of times I see this when kids dribble. They're way out here. Now, if you're quick, there's a time and place for that kind of dribbling. You're dribbling down the sideline or something and you wanna kick it out far. There's a time and place for that. But right now, to work on our technique and our control, we wanna go easy touches. Inside turn, inside of our foot, we're turning back, small inside touches. So between one cone to the next, I wanna see a lot of touches with the ball. I don't wanna see this. I don't wanna see this and you're running more than you're touching the ball, okay? I wanna see more touches on the ball. So we're gonna be starting here at this cone, and I wanna see, always remember too, when you're in a drill, I need to see your feet moving. Uh, you know, you can't be standing like this, getting pushed over, you need to stand shoulder width apart, you know, on your toes moving, rocking, okay? We're here, we're ready. Okay, we're ready for anything now, we're going. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, Turn, turn, turn. Come back this way. One, two, three, four. Perfect. your homework okay a lot of the times you guys come uh, some of you come one time a week with me so learn a drill from our sessions the one you're having difficulties with practice it at home the entire week even after your training sessions with your club uh, work on them so that next week you're ready to go you can show me the progress each week okay also some of you guys are training with your clubs uh, two times a week or three times a week. We need to get more touches on the ball, okay? Uh, you can't just go three times a week and expect to become a better player, okay? Because in all reality, there's a lot of players out there, the best players, the top level players, they love the game so much, they're doing something sports related, athletic related every single day, okay? So, um, you know, you can have a day off Sundays, but you know, to me, there's no days off. So uh, I wanna motivate everyone to put in some sort of work. You don't have to run sprints every single day. You don't have to dribble a soccer ball every single day. But do something that's related to your sport 
that's going to help you advance, whether it's in, not even just in your sport, whether it's with your schooling, whether it's with your work, something that you're trying to get better at. Practice every single day on that so your skills can become better because I'll tell you what, if you're young and you hit a certain age and you don't possess these certain skills, it's going to be very hard for you to get what everybody likes to hear, playing time. Everybody, Nobody wants to sit the bench. Everybody wants to have a lot of playing time. Uh, but for example, if a coach is, uh, you know, you're playing at a higher level, which most of us goals are want to play at a top level, a higher level, you're competing against multiple players in that position. So you got to bring that dog out in you and train all the time. So that is your homework for the week. Work on this drill, work on this dribbling. If you're having troubles dribbling, work on that. All right. I believe in you. You can do it. And remember, football is live. Have a good day.